Hey guys, Miss Katonic here. Welcome back to Let's Play the Duchy of Wallachia as Duke Mircha the Mad, who is currently um, about to revoke some titles from his vassals who are the wrong religion. This guy did end up winning his war against the Magyar uh, horse lord over here. This guy. So he took these two provinces, which at, uh, at least in this time period are... Uh, What's the word? Um, and I guess it doesn't show it here. Nomadic? Yeah, nomadic. So they have no holdings. They do, I think, nothing at all. They uh, provide literally nothing to the liege who owns them if they're not a horse lord, which we're not. We're a feudal. So. Um, and the, the only way to do that is to build a castle there. Uh, the the benefit to this, however, is since there is no holding, it's just like a nomadic, you know, tribe people that just move around. Uh, whoever owns it will automatically change the culture and religion to the culture of the of the ruler. So if I can take it from him, it'll become Vlach and Orthodox without any effort at all, which is which is great. Uh, which makes me want to just conquer more of this guy. Uh, as soon as I have, like, as soon as this is taken care of, I might do that. And also, I really want to declare on Hungary, or not Hungary, uh, Avaria, right? That's what they are right now. Um, I want to take Transylvania. It looks like something something's going on here. Uh, Serbia's trying to conquer this, and what else? He's defending against Poland, it looks like. No, that was a Serbian flag. Uh, a Transylvanian revolt. Okay, and what else? All right, so he's attacking this duchy up here as well. So, yeah, because I was I was looking at this guy, and he only has, um, not he only has like thirteen hundred troops, which is nothing. Uh, but all of his vassals might join him, and that might not... That might be misleading, uh, to say the least. So, anyway, let's let's do the old trick. Raise everything that we currently can. And uh, let's go sit on his capital. And then we're going to revoke this capital from him first. And uh, if he does say no... Oh, my patriarch died. No, that's not my patriarch. It's the... Uh, that is the patriarch, shall I say. So it's been about five years. Um, oh, young artist is working what is clearly a divinely inspired icon depicting John the Baptist. He needs sponsorship to finish it so he can place it in our chapel. Gain one learning for some money. Sounds good to me. All right, so this is all together. Oh, here we go. Well, this is not, I, I don't even care. I'm not even gonna marry her. Um, make her just or temperate. Think temperate is better. It's close. Again, it doesn't really matter because she's wrong religion, wrong culture, not related to us. Uh, one thing that did happen was our daughter, Alina, she was our firstborn, actually, uh, came to age. She became a fortune builder. And uh, she's strong and temperate, which is good. And I betrothed her to this guy, who's only 10 <laughs> right now. Uh, but he's a genius as well. So if they have kids, they'll have a greater chance to produce genius children. And uh, it's a matrilineal marriage, so they'll all be of her bloodline, which is our bloodline. Uh, that's been the only development in terms of family in the meantime. But now that we're here, let's... Make sure we have all our best leaders in here. Looks like we do, kind of. Well, we got a 13. Oh, this is this guy's gonna revolt against us anyway, though. So, all right. Let's revoke Burlad. He says maybe, which I think basically means no. Okay. So this is our our second second son, I think. Conscientious, affectionate, timid. Yep, 
Yeah, it looks like a stewardship focus would be good. I'll go with that. And this guy wants to marry someone? He's trying to marry this lady off to his <laughs> to his heir. Interesting. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Get her out of here. I don't want to pay for her. Okay. Yeah, okay, so he, he rebelled. That's expected. And he resigned from our commander position. We'll put this guy in charge. So he's going to go up here and siege, it looks like. He can't raise many troops because, uh, you know, we're sieging his capital right now, and these don't provide him anything, so he's not as, as strong as he looks from this. Uh... Clara becomes Bulgar. That's not what I wanted at all. I wanted her to become Vlach, but okay. Alright, I want this to be over quick so I can start capitalizing over here. And uh, I really want to attack Serbia as well, since they're still a heathen. And uh, they usually convert, uh, Avars convert really fast, so I definitely want to attack them as soon as possible, while I still can. And we are getting older, you can see that we're an old man now, at least in the uh, face, we're 51. Young Vladimir has finished his education in the ways of war. Uh, he's only a tough soldier, which is unfortunate, but um, not the end of the world. He is proud and envious and a genius. And this is our heir. Heir to the Kingdom of Bulgaria. So we need to get him married. We can marry him to the Duchess of Flanders. Um, do you not have any kids yet? Your heir is your sister. <sighs> okay. Flanders. Flanders is over, over here. That is a big duchy. It certainly is. I can't say no to that. And she's and she's strong. Like that's amazing. I didn't say matrilineal, right? I'm going to assume I did not say matrilineal. Or this campaign will be over pretty fast. Please say yes. Sweet. That'll be good. And uh, eventually I think that'll work out to where we just own this up here. Which won't, you know, won't be that useful, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, so he did leave my court, unfortunately, because his... His wife is a duchess, so he's going to help her over there. Uh, which is a little bit... It's, it's not ideal, because uh, he might end up, you know, getting stressed or getting tr bad traits or in a war or something. You know, when he's not in my court. Alright, any time now. Here we go. These I could probably assault just fine. Yes. And let's go break this siege first. I want this to end very fast. Prince Turvel of Bulgaria. You have a strong claim on a lot of st stuff. And on the kingdom itself. You are imprisoned in my prison? Yes. Can I kill you? It will upset the lords of a clan somewhere. Ransom? For ten, I don't. I would rather have you dead with all of these claims. All right, 
let's siege that. Siege that. 100%. Okay. So this should imprison him like it did the other vassal. And I will start by revoking these up here. I don't believe they count towards my domain limit, which is interesting. Uh, so I'll take Twerky as well. Yep, it does not count, which is uh, which is good. And as you can see, they're immediately Vlachian and Orthodox, just because I own it. And then we'll take Belgorod, which does count because it's a castle. And then we'll take, finally, County of Berlod. Wonderful. And this, actually, yeah, we need to revoke these as well, don't we? City of Veslui, Temple of Oblusita. Get that out of there. City of Chilia. Alright, so we do have enough money to build one castle over here. I suppose we should. 397, yes. Let's build a castle in Torquay. And I fulfilled the ambition to become exalted among men, so that's good. Let's pick a new ambition, build a war chest, sounds good. Okay, so let's drop all of our levies, let them recover. We can own, we have a lot of men under, under us, just because we can own basically the entire kingdom, thanks to our domain limit. And uh, we can create a duchy of Moldavia. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Okay, so all of these revocations are coming in. I think that was all of them. So we'll give these to some proper Romanian Orthodox vassals. Alright, so this is all cleaned up now, our entire kingdom. No more heretics. Uh, no more Bulgar Tengris. Now we just need to convert all of this land. We've gotten Wallachia, uh, Wallachia basically done. This is done automatically. I'm working on Vidin right now. Extort subjects? No thank you. Okay, so... I don't know how long this is going to take to replenish. One of my that's one of my concerns. I'm going to wait maybe about a year, roughly a year. No, you know what? Let's let's just go for it. Fuck it. Holy War for Transylvania. They're all chieftains, so they shouldn't take long to siege. Let's meet up over here. Okay, that's that's a that is an army. And uh, Tengri vassals might join him. Hopefully, I'm hostile to these people. Uh, okay, so he did call someone in. Let's go siege. I'm not sure what the uh, supply limit is like here. Okay, I should be fine. Uh, yes. If I can assault without, like, losing more than 20 men, that's pretty good. Am I hostile to this guy? I think so. Can I get there before him? No. Okay, let me go siege this one down. As I'm beating a rabid dog in the yard... What? A uh, little Umor <laughs> runs up and joins in the beating? What the hell is happening? <laughs> Alright, this is a fucked up court we got here. Um, there's room for everyone. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's uh, do just a normal father-son activity. Okay, yeah. Oh 
Um, where's the... Isn't there a... There is not. There is no terrain map mode, is there? Well, there's this one. I guess this kind of works. It's hills. There is not a river, it doesn't look like. No. He would reinforce. Are you at war with him, though? That's what I'm not sure. No, you're not. You you are at war with me. So you're meeting up with your lead right now. Did Serbia win that war already? Is this yeah they did. So they took this part. Hmm. So who else are you at war with? Just me and you're attacking this guy. I was kind of relying on Serbia being a pain in their being a thorn in their side, but. Well, man, troops are expensive. Okay, so I, I can take up a, a defensive position here, because I'll get here on the 29th, they leave on the 25th. This guy arrives on the 3rd of December. Alright, so he's already changed his mind. And he's, he's actually going to try to finish this war, it looks like. Which is fine by me. Can go over here now. Start sieging. I'm already at 39%. This should dissuade anyone from joining. I'm, you know, I'm not sure exactly how the calculations work. I think if you're winning the war, they will be less likely to, to help. Okay, so... My daughter-in-law did make my son a commander. Hopefully she doesn't end up fighting. Okay, so this guy... If I can fight them one, one at a time... Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, good. I might have to just fight him. If I can win a battle, oh shoot, he's gonna he's gonna reinforce, isn't he? Yes. Um. could borrow money from the Jews again and hire mercs and just wipe the floor. You know, I think that's not a bad idea. Uh, do I want to get something a little bit more expensive? I don't think so. I mean, even... it's got about 4,800. This is still pretty close. Lombard band, archers, light cavalry, pikemen, and heavy infantry. I think the Swiss band is better. I think pikemen are like the best unit type right now. Let's go for the Swiss. It's kind of historical. Swiss mercenaries. Looks like they took Bihar back. Oh, he is coming down to here. No. Okay, if combat takes place here, the defender will get a defensive bonus. Rise on the 4th, rise on the 21st. 5th, 19th. This is possible? It's possible I can get here first. Yes, so I will, I will kill this army, or at least route it, and then I can converge here. Oh no. Alright, let's slow down the game a little bit. He's going to arrive on the 24th. I should crush him before this happens. 
17th. Come on. 20th. Perfect. And that did stop him. Let me take this back. That's already taken back. <laughs> okay. Now... The defender will get a defensive bonus. Arrives on the 23rd. On the 1st. Really? Okay. Well, I'm, I need to get him out of here. Oh, that's not... I read that completely wrong. That's fine. I think I should still win this. That should give me a lot of war score. 74%, yeah. Yeah, I just mopped the floor with him. I'm getting raided by this guy, probably. Alright, let's merge these guys up. Oh, I could have potentially killed that army. I could assault, but I don't... I don't think I want to. Although it might be smart, actually. Yeah. I just need to get War Score really fast. And maybe I should try to get, kill this. I got a little bit of it. Hopefully I can just wipe it. Yep. And this is not his capital, but I'll take it. Okay, so we got another one of these Bulgars. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Playful, willful. Uh, Marshall, I guess. Yeah. Can I... 23rd of July. Yep, I can catch him here. And he might get away. Yeah, it looks like he is. If I just kill his army, I think I'll get the war score I need. Tenth of August, ninth god damn it. What if I go here first? Yep, okay. Now let's now let's attack him here. Here we are leaving the center. King Mircha the Mad. Doing just fine. And they have a lot of morale. Or am I just looking at this the wrong way? Definitely one. Oh, here we go. 100%. Force demands. Bulgarian holy war for Transylvania has ended. And it's the wrong... What is it? The wrong government type. Because it's a... Uh, a tribal a tribe which is uh, annoying but we needed Transylvania just to you know be historical all right so we're doing pretty well um, we are now over the domain size though well, let's get everyone home we can drop the marks from here, doesn't matter. These guys we need to release in our own territory. Uh, Feher has a bishopric, which we can uh, hand out to someone. Let's make a vassal. And I might give up Vidin to a vassal. Yeah, I want to keep these because they're so well developed. And I, I want to keep as much as I can in Wallachia itself. Which also includes Transylvania now. I mean, these these weren't really historically Romanian. These, these two are. This one's not. This one is not. I mean, it doesn't make sense to get rid of a castle instead of tribes, really, but... I don't know. I'll, I'll do this stuff off-screen. Um, I think my next target might be something up here. Let me 
I see. It's unfortunately these are all different duchies, so a holy war would only get me one province, which isn't really worth it. But yeah, this has been Miskatonic. Thanks for watching.